Hello, good morning YouTube. It's Pretty in Pink and I'm back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Janelle and I'm in the bathroom. I'm about to do some self-care. Like I just had granola and yogurt for breakfast. And that granola sticks everywhere in your teeth. So, for those of you who are back, thank you for coming back. Click like and comment on this video. And for those of you who are new to the video, good to see you. I hope you stick around. And I'm using Colgate 2-in-1 Icy Blast, which is very good, tastes good, does well. Uh, um, give me a minute to brush. And I always brush my tongue and the roof of my mouth. You want to make sure that your mouth is very clean. And there we are. Teeth are brushed. I'm gonna brush my hair back, back into another ponytail. But I wanna use some moisturizer and I'm using this African Pride Olive Oil Miracle Oil Moisture Lotion. Then you want to rub it from root to tip. And it has olive oil and tea tree oil in it. And 
always make sure to brush it through thoroughly. And I'm putting it in a mid ponytail in the middle of my head. And I'm using my pink scrunchie. So, how have you all been? I've been doing pretty good. I've been, well, since I moved into the apartment, I did a little bit of decorating, but not too much where I can do a full-on furnished um, room tour or apartment tour, but I will do that once I get some more of my things in and get it decorated. And I'm wearing my Juneteenth Freedom Day, even though it's 4th of July, still representing. Oh, and Happy Independence Day to those of you to celebrate Independence Day. I celebrate the whole month of July because July is my birth month. My birthday is July 21st. Can't wait till it gets here. Yes, we'll be going out for seafood. I can't wait. I'm going to enjoy it. Yes, indeed. And, um, it's going to be exciting. And um, I don't think I'm doing any makeup today, but I will do some lip gloss. <clears throat> we'll do some pink butter gloss by NYX. Let me show that to you. That is by NYX. It's Butter Gloss and it is in the color Creme Brulee. Come with me now. And now I'm getting ready to sit down to my computer and watch some YouTube. And it has been fairly cool around here in um, Florida. For those of you who don't know, I have made the transition and moved to Florida from Pennsylvania. And um, so far, I'm enjoying it so good. Um, it's been a bumpy road, I should say, but good nonetheless. I'm working, things are picking up, can't complain. Even if I did, who would listen? And um, I've been offered a second job. So I have options. Yes, I have options. And um, <clears throat> if you guys, the last time you see me, you're probably wondering what this is on my eye. It's a sty. And um, it went away, but it left a little lump in there. And, um, I don't think that's going away anytime soon, or maybe not at all. I'm just going to have to cover it with something when I wear makeup. <clears throat> anyway. I, um, oh, so, <clears throat> I was thinking about content. What do you do to make content? So, I've been listening to a lot of YouTube creators talk about Creating content, having good content, making content, keeping your content, um, I want to say, 
frequent and consistent but content is just like one of the youtube creators said it's just you doing you every day so you have to wake up with a mindset to do content now when i thought that creating content was okay i have a box to open so open a box um show you what's inside the box give you details on that um <clears throat> if it wasn't open in a box then it was having content about cooking something okay this is what i'm cooking today it's all of that it's you know i went to the store bought a new pair of shoes i'm gonna take you to the store with me i'm walking around the house i'm doing a little bit of cleaning i'm gonna bring you to clean with me it's all of that so <clears throat> i'm learning this content thing little by little and how do you get your channel to grow you know that's a big question how do you get your channel to grow Lots of content creators say that you get your channel to grow by being consistent, putting out um, vlogs or videos every single day, two, three times a week, once or twice a week, once a month. There's so many different opinions of, you know, how to get your channel to grow. I think they all work. And I think that the one thing that they're saying that is true is that consistency makes your channel work. So that's what I'm gonna be more consistent. Yes. And it's gonna be just a lot of me and you because that's all there is, it's just me and you. Um, I don't have any, well, it's just me, you and my husband whenever he's on. Um, I don't have any family here in Florida. My best friend is here. We actually, well, here's the story. So I decided I was going to move. My best friend said, okay, where are you moving to? I said, oh, I'm just, you know, looking for a house somewhere. So we were in Pennsylvania, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So I decided that I was going to move from one house to another. So I started looking for a house in Pennsylvania. It wasn't so successful. Couldn't find anything I wanted. And then I wanted to move away from the cold. You know, I've been in Pins I was born and raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, you know, my life there, you know, I know it very well and I'm acquainted and, you know, I can get around and I have plenty of family there, my family, my husband's family, you know, all of that. So, but then I said, well, if I move, I either want to move to Dallas or to Florida. So my girlfriend said, okay, you know, make up your mind. Where you moving to? Now, <clears throat> we've been friends for over 20 years. And since we've been friends for over 20 years, and she was gone for most of the time because she moved to Arizona and uh, New Mexico and um, Atlanta, Georgia, and different places, and I was either in Pittsburgh or Ohio. So we had not spent a lot of time together. So she said, well, if you're moving, I'm moving where you're going. So I said, okay, let's move to Florida. So a year ago, we decided we were gonna move to Florida. And well, we ended up coming down to Florida December of 21. So we had scheduled to look at all these apartments. We had went online and put all this information in and scheduled to have apartment tours. And so when we came down here in December, first night, we did nothing. Second night, we went out. Third night, we started looking for these apartments. So we started touring these apartments. So we had apartment tours for each day. And not just one, but two, three, and four apartment tours. She had the ones that she found, and I had the ones that I found. So we ended up finding this little place that we liked. And that's the community that I live in now. She, um, first, you know, we went on the tour, and we really liked it. And it was the building, the units were only a year old. So we decided to go um, 
she wanted to put in her application then. She had the application fee money and everything. So she paid on her application fee and put it in because the units that she wanted were almost gone. Well, she got the unit. She was approved. She got the unit. I kept hemming and hawing and I don't know and I didn't want to pay the application fee and all this other stuff. But then finally in March, I applied and I was approved. I applied and I was approved for a one bedroom. And, and the reason why I decided to get a one bedroom was because nobody was coming but me and my husband. My girls decided that they wanted to stay in Pittsburgh. They didn't want to leave their family and they were 18 and 21. So there was no reason for me to fuss with them, you know, that they were going with me. You're old enough to make your own decision. Fine. So. We went from going to stay in Pittsburgh to move into Florida. So we moved to Florida and well, I got the approval in March, paid my deposit in May, moved to Florida. Well, I came down in April, paid my deposit in May, and been here ever since. And that's the story. Then my husband came down after me. And so it's been, you know, it's been an event. It's been different. It's a learning experience. Um, would I do it the same way again? Yes and no, more so yes than no. <laughs> um, you know, well, one of the things I wish I would have did was had a little bit more um, finances consolidated to come down. And that's what my husband wanted to do. He wanted us to come down on $10,000, but it would have took us God knows how long to put together a, um, a plan for $10,000. But we did it and we're here now. So... Now that we're here and we're making do with what we have, um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the sunshine. I'm enjoying the the amenities, the pool. Um, you know, we have granite countertops. You know, the the floors are beautiful. Um, as you can see in the um, video for the empty apartment tour, and if you haven't seen it, you can go back and see it. Yes, you can go back and see it. And, um, you know, just wanted to give you a little bit of backstory of how I ended up here. Yep. Well, I want to thank you for listening today. This is my content for today. Hopefully you'll like it, comment, share, and subscribe. Maybe we'll talk more about, you know, making decisions to move and how to do that. Um, definitely it does make a difference and um, it is a big decision. So um, once again, this is Pretty and Pink. Thank you for listening and continue to have a great day. Bye YouTube.